Hi everyone. We will be continuing our PLC learning series looking at memory backup. Now PLC memory is very similar to personal computer memory. There's an operating system and firmware of the processor and connected modules. PLC programs and data are used by the program are also stored in the memory. We will be looking at the basic understanding of memory in the PLC, looking at examples of a PLC specification, and we will see how the program is stored and how long the memory will remain when the PLC is not powered up. Now, detailed information contained in the video can be found at accautomation.ca. A link has been put in the description below. If you have not watched the other videos yet, there will be links in the description below that will start your video one. There will be links to the rest of the videos in this series as well. So there are basically two types of memory. RAM means random access memory, this is the quickest form of memory and is used to run your PLC program. ROM means read-only memory. This form of memory is used to store the PLC firmware and other data that must be present for the controller to operate. Now, all memory is a type of RAM or ROM memory. So, volatile memory in the PLC means that when power is removed from the unit, the information is erased. Non-volatile memory does not lose its content when the power is removed. So random access memory or RAM is a form of volatile memory. Since RAM memory is the quickest, your PLC program will run on RAM volatile memory. PLC platforms assign some parts of RAM to be retentive or other parts non-retentive. Refer to, to the specific manual on the PLC controller that you are programming. Now, ROM, or read-only memory, is a form of non-volatile memory. The PLC operating system that reads and executes your program and the controller will be in the ROM memory. Now, PLC program storage and loading, and every PLC manufacturer is different how they store and use the PLC program and data that you write. Some use flash or SD RAM cards to save the, the program without a battery. Others will use a battery capacitor or other rechargeable energy uh, storage module to hold the PLC program and data. When the PLC is powered on, usually the program is loaded from a non-volatile RAM into the user memory RAM of the controller. Now, PLC operating system or firmware. Now, the operating system itself in the PLC is held in non-volatile memory, which is also called firmware. And to change the firmware on a PLC, you will need to flash or download that program. This is usually done using the programming software for a controller. It is important to ensure that the flashing of a controller is not interrupted. Interruption of the flash can cause the PLC to stop functioning, which is also referred to bricking PLC. IO communication and other modules will also have firmware that can be uploaded from the manufacturer's site. Now the Program memory consists of instructions and program code that you write. This is what is sent to the PLC processor. When you send the PLC program to the controller, it is called downloading. Sending the program from the PLC process to the controller is called uploading. So data memory includes the input and output image tables, numeric and Boolean data, and most memory used in the PLC program is internal and not direct directly related to inputs and outputs. Now let's take a look at a PLC program and data memory example. So we'll have a Click Plus PLC. And right offhand, you can see if I look at this component diagram, you'll see I have a battery here, which is used to back up uh, something. And we'll take a look at the specifications actually to see what that is. So calling up the specifications for a Click Plus PLC. And you can see that we have, this gives me my total number of rungs and everything, we have flash memory, standard on PLC. So I know that my PLC program itself is stored in this flash memory, which will uh, be non-volatile, so it'll automatically get there, or be saved when I have lose program. So my battery in the, in the click does not support this, this uh, program itself. So it's used for data, memory, and I.O. So then we look down further, we have logging 
And back at the bottom here, you see the memory backup. We have a su super capacitor plus battery. And looking at the specs, the super capacitor will hold this memory for one hour. After one hour, we will lose it. But since we have a battery or we install a battery into our controller, then we're able to keep that on for um, three years. And then the battery backup is here. So actually looking at our physical hardware now, what you will see is that here is our Click Plus PLC. And if I were to open up the battery compartment, this is where I would actually put my battery in here to store it. So currently right now, this controller does not have a battery in it. So I have one hour when I remove power to ensure that I put power back on or I will lose some of my data memory um, or data uh, values that are in there. So what I have to do as a programmer is to make sure that I'm not using that memory area itself. So if you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button below. If you have any questions about the video, please leave a comment below and I'll do my best to answer it. If you want more information about us or you want our free eBooks on numbering systems or robust data logging, please click on the link in the description below to get it. New video is put out every Monday, so make sure you hit the subscribe button to get more videos like this in the future. Remember to click the bell beside your subscription to actually receive those notifications. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Stay safe.